Hello, my name is Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another uh, SketchUp cooking class. This is for our exercise three, the terrain model. We're going to be looking at the sandbox tools uh, to create the terrain model, the terrain model. We're going to be using the uh, from scratch tool. That's the second one over. So we click on the from scratch. Make sure that we set the grid to five feet. Select on the screen and drag it across. And we want this to be 80 feet wide. And then we're going to drag it back 160 feet. Now, when we get the terrain model, we, it get, comes with a grid on it. Um, the grid is not really desirable for us when we're finished. So what we do is we, we can select this, select the terrain, right click on it, and then we're going to click on soften smooth edges. And the key is to make sure that we click the soften coplanar. This will help us to get rid of the lines, which makes it a little bit easier to work with. It's a little easier to get rid of the lines at the beginning. And if you go to the end, then you may have trouble getting rid of all of them. So we have uh, three tools that we're going to look at uh, for this. We have a smooth tool, S-M-O-O-V-E, smooth. We have a stamp, and we have the drape tool. So to get these to work, we need to um, create basically a layout of our landscape. So I'm going to just make a rectangle and that rectangle should also be 80 feet by 160 feet so again we're going to set lay everything out on here then we're going to move this to be above the terrain model and this will allow us to Make sure that everything lines up, and then we can use our stamp and our uh, drape tool. We stamp and drape it and add things like sidewalks, things like that. So uh, to set this up, we need to use our measuring tape tool. We always have offsets on a piece of property, so we're going to offset from the left side by 5 feet. This just is going to help us, and we're going to offset from the front by 20 feet. This just gives us a starting position where we can locate our salt box house. Now, the salt box house, we need to have a basically an outline of it. So I've already brought it in here. Uh, to bring it in, you can click on File and Import. And then you go into your folder and you find your salt box house. And from there, you can we can work with it. So I've got my salt box house and my terrain model and they're all located on a hidden layer. So I'll just bring up my layers. And I'm just going to turn them on. So this is again my salt box house and my gazebo. So what I need to do is uh, go underneath it and I'm going to create a profile. So I'm just going to create a box across the back and I'll do one for my stairs as well and my stairs here as well. Okay, so that's going to be good for this. Now, I can do the same thing for my um, gazebo. So I, I need to get a position So that I can, basically, I'm just putting two guidelines on here so I can use my polygon, my polygon eight sides. Click on here and then just click on to a corner. Okay, so again, now at this point, I can turn off my gazebo and turn off my salt box house. And I don't need these construction lines here any longer. And now I can... move these into this position over here. So, now this is a little bit 
awkward because of the way this stair is here. So I'm just going to move it so that it's basically st giving me a little bit of five foot clearance here. And now I'm just going to place my gazebo. Just move it so that it's on to here as well. So it's not really important where you place it. Anywhere's fine. So now we want to create some sidewalks. So to create my sidewalks, I'm going to use my measuring tape tool again and just grab one here, click it into the center of here. And I want the sidewalk to be three feet. So I can just go 18 inches and 18 inches here. Um, I'm going to come three feet off the side of the house. I want it to be three foot wide. And I can just, I'm just going to create my little sidewalk. Now this one here, probably because I have the step, I'm just going to set that up like that. So I'm just going to erase the stuff that I don't need. Whoops, it didn't, I don't know what happened there. I can erase that. No, it's not. Okay, I'm just going to have to bring that back. And try this again. So I'm just going to uh, select these two guidelines so that I can copy them. Hold down the shift, move, copy. Oops, got the wrong, got the whole thing here. Select, hold down the shift, move, copy. And then I'm just going to rotate this by 60 degrees and I'm going to move it again. Yeah, that should be fine like that. So you can see that my sidewalk is going to come here. I can branch off to go around to the back. Um, I'm going to do my sidewalk back here as well three feet, three feet, and um, come across here, three feet, and I'll just create one right to there. So again, the gazebo is the same thing. I can put a sidewalk here. Now, I'm just going to, it can be curved. It doesn't have to be straight, but for simplicity, I'm just going to try to keep it as simple as I can. 18, 18, and I'm just going to erase this because that one doesn't, I'm not going to use that one. So now I can try to draw my sidewalks. And same thing, I'll start from here. Okay, the little problem, I'll just try that one again. So this has given me basically my construction for my sidewalk. I'm going to do a little bit more work on it, but for now I'm just going to edit, delete guides, and that gives you an idea of what we have. I'm going to round some corners here, but I think I'm just going to stop the video at this point so that we can uh, 
just make this part one and then we'll start working on part two next. So thank you.